Hello, how are you today? Uh, hello, I'm okay. <laughs> so, I just want to let you know my name is Nemanja, but you can call me Nem. And what is your name? I'm Miu. Very nice to meet you, Miu. So, for today we have pronunciation advanced one mm -hmm. and unlucky day. Is that correct? Okay, yes. Okay, so whenever you're ready, let's go and let's start with our first challenge. Mm -hmm. Reading the paragraph. Okay, so I can read now? Yes, please. Okay. An unlucky day. These days, it's safe to say that Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. Many Americans avoid the number 13 altogether, including hotel rooms and airplane seat assignments. Some event venues even charge couples less to get married on that day. There are many theories as to how the luckless day came to be, but there's nothing special about the day itself. After all, the number 13 is even considered lucky in some countries like Italy. Excellent, that was perfect. So just one thing here in the, not in the last, but the one before that, the line, we said, but there's nothing special about the date itself instead of a, about the day itself. About the date itself. Itself, yes, very good. So let's see, let's practice some words together. Cultural mainstay. Cultural mainstay. Very good. One more time. Cultural mainstay. Cultural mainstay. Excellent. All together. All together. Excellent. And one more time. All together. All together. Perfect. Sit assignments. Sit assignments. Perfect. And one more time. Sit assignments. Sit assignments. Excellent. Two more words. Venues. Venues. Perfect. And one more time. Venues. Venues. Excellent. And the last word for today, theories. Theories. Very good. And one more time, theories. Theories. Perfect. Great job, Mew. So before we continue, I just want to make sure any questions about this paragraph, about the words. No. It's okay. okay. Very good. So your reading is excellent. So let's see, we're going to practice this a little bit deeper. We're going to start by listening to the title. So listen carefully. It starts now. An unlucky day. An unlucky day. Very good. And let's re listen one more time. Listen carefully. An unlucky day. An unlucky day. An unlucky day. An unlucky day. Excellent. Okay, very good. And let's listen to sentence number two. These days, it's safe to say that Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. These days, it's safe to say that Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. Perfect. Listen carefully, we're going to hear it one more time. These days, it's safe to say that Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. These days, it's safe to say that Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. Cultural. Cultural. Excellent. And let's read it one more time together. These days, it's safe to say that Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. These days, it's safe to say that Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. Excellent. And let's hear sentence number three. Listen carefully. Many Americans avoid the number 13 altogether. Many Americans avoid the number 13 altogether. Very good. And let's listen it one more time. Many Americans avoid the number 13 altogether. Many Americans avoid the number 13 altogether. Excellent. Great job. Sentence number four. Including hotel rooms and airplane seat assignments including hotel rooms and airplane seat assignments. Excellent. One more time. Including hotel rooms and airplane seat assignments. Including hotel rooms and airplane seat assignments. Perfect. Great job. Sentence number five. Some event venues even charge couples less to get married on that day. 
some event venues even charge couples less to get married on that day. Very good. And let's listen one more time. Some event venues even charge couples less to get married on that day. Some event venues even charge couples less to get married on that day. Perfect. Good job. Sentence number six. There are many theories as to how the luckless day came to be. There are many theories as to how the luckless day came to be. So good job. One more time. There are many theories as to how the luckless day came to be. There are many theories as to how the luckless day came to be. Great job. And sentence number seven. But there's nothing special about the date itself. But there's nothing special about the day itself. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's practice it once together. But there's nothing special about the date itself. But there's nothing special about the day itself. Very good. And let's listen one more time. Listen carefully. But there's nothing special about the date itself. But there's nothing special about the day itself. Very good. Let's practice this one one more time. But there's nothing special about the date itself. But there's nothing special about the date itself. The date itself. <laughs> the date itself. The date itself. Okay. Perfect. And let's hear sentence number eight. After all, the number 13 is even considered lucky in some countries, like Italy. After all, the number 13 is even considered lucky in some countries, like Italy. Very good. And let's hear this last sentence one more time. After all, the number 13 is even considered lucky in some countries, like Italy. After all, the number 13 is even considered lucky in some countries, like Italy. Very good. Okay. We finished with our second challenge. Do you have any questions before we continue? Not so far. Okay. So let's go and let's practice some linking sounds. We're going to listen to an audio first. After that, you will read. So listen carefully. It starts now. An unlucky day? These days, it's safe to say that Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. Many Americans avoid the number 13 altogether, including hotel rooms and airplane seat assignments. Some event venues even charge couples less to get married on that day. There are many theories as to how the luckless day came to be, but there's nothing special about the date itself. After all, the number 13 is even considered lucky in some countries, like Italy. Okay. Whenever you're ready, if you can please read this paragraph. Okay. An unlucky day? These days, it's safe to say that Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. Many Americans avoid the number 13 altogether, including hotel rooms and airplane seat assignments. Some event venues even charge couples less to get married on that day. There are many theories as to how the luckless day came to be, but there's nothing special about the date itself. After all, the number 13 is even considered lucky in some countries like Italy. Very good. That was perfect. So we're going to practice just a few linking sounds before we continue. We're going to start with Isa. Isa. Very good. One more time. Isa. Isa. Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. Friday, Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. Excellent. And then we have there are. There are. Very good. One more time. There are. There are. Very good. There are many theories. There are many theories. Very good. And then we have two more. The next one is after all. After all. Very good. One more time. After all. After all. After all, the number 13. After all, the number 13. Excellent. And the last one for today, special about. Special about. Very good. One more time. Special about. Special about. There's nothing special about the date itself. Uh, 
there is nothing special about the rate itself. Very good. Let's do that one more one more time. But there's nothing special about the date itself. But there's nothing special about the date itself. Excellent. Okay. Any questions here before we continue? Nothing. Okay. So let's go and let's see our fourth challenge, time trial. So just give me one second so I can open the stopwatch. And here we're going to try to read as fast as we can. We're going to do it three times, so don't pay attention to the time limits here. We're just going to try to improve our time with each reading, okay? Okay. So, ready for our first reading? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start in three, two, one, now. An unlucky day. These days, it's safe to say that Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. Many Americans avoid the number 13 altogether, including hotel rooms and airplane seat assignments. Some event venues even charge couples less to get married on that day. There are many theories as to how the luckless day came to be, but there is nothing special about the day itself. After all, the number 13 is even considered lucky in some countries like Italy. Excellent. With 29 seconds. It was a great first reading. Let's do it one more time. This time we're going to try to do just a second or two faster, just to try to beat our time. Okay. Ready? All right. Okay. Let's start in three, two, one, go. An unlucky day? These days it's safe to say that Friday the 13th is a cultural mainstay. Many Americans avoid the number 13 altogether, including hotel rooms and airplane seat assignments. Some event venues even charge couples less to get married on that day. There are many theories as to how the luckless day came to be, but there's nothing special about the date itself. After all, the number 13 is even considered lucky in some countries like Italy. That was perfect. <laughs> You were, I How think was the it? reading was 24 and a half. Oh, wow. Yay. Yes. <laughs> it was five seconds faster. And I think this time uh, in the first reading, you got a little bit slower when we got to that part special about the date itself. Mm -hmm. But I think this time it was the whole reading was perfect. So great Yay. job. <laughs> so we have just three minutes left. So we can skip our last reading because I think this was already very good. So let's go to our next challenge. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. So let's go and let's see our fifth challenge overlapping. Mm -hmm. um, do you know how do we do this fifth challenge? We're going to listen to an audio and we're going to try repeating at the same time the, the words that we hear. Okay. Okay. You ready? Okay. Okay. Let's start in three, two, one, and go. An unlucky, an unlucky day. day. These, These days, days, it's safe to say that, that Friday the 13th, 13th is a cultural mainstay. mainstay. Many, Americans Many Americans avoid the number 13, 13 altogether, altogether, including hotel rooms and airplane seat assignments. assignments. Some event Some venues, venues even, charge even charge couples less, less to, get to get married on that day. On that day. There are yeah, many, many theories as to how the luckless day, day came, came to be, be. but there's but nothing there's special, special about the date, date itself. After, After all, all, the number 13 is even considered lucky in some countries, like Italy. Hello? Sorry, something wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you're back. Okay, so great job, Miu. I, I really think, as I said at the beginning of our lesson, um, I think your pronunciation is great, and I knew that you're going to do a great job with this material. Um, I would really like to have like a five-minute discussion or some lesson where we can talk to each other more, because I think your pronunciation is great. I would like to hear... Uh, how well you can express yourself. I really think this material <laughs> is too easy for you. Oh, that's the first, worst part. I cannot express myself, my feelings. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. I'm not good at it. <laughs> I, I, that's why I would like to have more like that kind of a lesson, because here, <laughs> like there is nothing much that I can help you with, because I think you're doing a great job and I would like to have something to tell you, oh, you have to do this better but I think you did such an amazing job that there is nothing for me to correct. Really? <laughs> yes, I, I, I really think you did a great job. Thank your, you. <laughs> your pronunciation sounds a little bit British. So, oh, uh, British. 
Really? Yes.、Mm. Yes, I think so a little bit. Have you lived abroad? Ah,、uh, I've been to New Zealand before, about a year or so. Oh, okay.、Mm. Okay. But I was I, studying American English, so I thought I am more, more American way. American. But you know, you said British. A, a little, a little bit. <laughs> it was really, a, it was really a pleasure meeting you, Mew. And I'm sorry that there was not a lot that I can correct today, but it was a pleasure having you in my class. Thank you. Bye bye.